enthralled. So sit back and enjoy Hearts Against Dundee, the Premier Division leaders against a team coming here to fight desperately for two points. We look firstly at the Hearts side. And there's a very settled look about the hard side. Exactly the same team that played in a very tough game on Tuesday night at Motherwell, a game I watched, and I am surprised from such a robust contest there have been no injuries. Dundee, well, I don't think they've quite got over the tragedy yet of the loss of Jim Duffy, a loss of the game and not just to Dundee. Uh, therefore, they're struggling a little in defence with Tosh McKinley still unable to play, and they realise, in any case, that they're up against it this afternoon. What's going to be a very tough match for them. There's the referee for this afternoon, Johnny Evans from Bishop Briggs. Well, a fine day for a football match. I suppose you could call it an autumnal afternoon. And we're keeping our fingers crossed because there's been a lot of mist around. And we're just hoping it stays away from uh, the Gorgie Road area of Edinburgh. Greg Levine, and that was a very late and clumsy challenge. Keith Wright is the name. That's good backing up by Berry. He did all the spade work for that. Mackay fluffs it, and there's that very good player, John Brown. Bunce. Kept his balance very well there, Bunce, to get that done. Slight touch. Black. Mackay. Foster. It's almost in the shape of a gift. Well, moving it about well, Dundee, from midfield. High to Black. Glenny is Buns again, picking up a lot. Good play by Hart. Black. Robertson, no chance of getting that. Swept away strongly by the ex player, Gordon Chisholm. You'll find the Hearts players from the back will be trying to hit Cohen with the ball as much as he can. Try to encourage Cohen to run at the defence. This is Coyne. There's John Brown. Well, Brown is a very good finisher, both in the air and on the ground. Got into a very good position for this. Not easy to pick that up, but he tried the best, tried to loop the header up. Buns, wide open spaces. Mackay racing through. That's a superb ball. Mackay, and he overstepped it. All oh, the intentions were right by Hart. That is the best move of the game so far. That's better. Oh, great piece of play and save. That was from the foot of Danny McPherson. The heart supporters warming to this performance now. Excellent little one-twos, and that was for the top corner. Cahoon with it, and McPherson is up again in the thick of it. And what a useful player he can be, both in the box and the air, and just outside the area, as we've just seen. area this time and a bit of mountaineering there by Craig Levine who's easing himself very sensibly back into top form with hearts very Robertson a little bit obvious with that one Seem to hold back a little, Miss by McPherson. Tommy Coyne. And that might not even be a goal kick, it isn't. 
something of an achievement, six yards from goal, and you end up with a throw-in. Now, that was a shot at goal. On the other hand, there ought to have been some support in the middle of the box. Not sure if anybody can hear Jockey Scott from there. 15 minutes gone, there's still no scoring, but Hearts, at this stage of the game, really have uh, got into supremacy, playing some excellent stuff. And McPherson again, and that must be yes! John Robertson finishes it off. A goal thoroughly merited. They've really been building up to that. And as it came down from the head of Big Person, there was Robertson to tuck it in. McPherson is so valuable when he gets up on the box like that, and if he gets support as Robertson gives him it, then there's a very good chance you put the ball in the back of the net. Glenny. Levine stretching out to it, and that was a late tackle, yes. On Shannon. up tons of confidence in defense from Kenny Black and watch the way Black very good relationship with the goalkeeper into his arms Benny Running forward by Robertson again. Can he get there? He does it. It's a great goal. Robertson second in exactly two minutes. Two goals in two minutes by a striker. Watch him scoring his fifth goal in the Premier Division this season. And what made that goal was his intelligent run forward. Now we're on the 18-minute mark in Hearts. If they keep on playing like this, they're going to go on the rampage. Whipped away by Levine. Very neat turning there by Vince Smenny, of whom we've seen hardly anything so far. There's a touch through, there's Manny, he's looking for the one-two, and there's a great shot. Good move by Dundee in reply. Keith Wright almost finishing it off. Well, that's a way to respond. He did see the gap there. Perhaps it went to the wrong player. has been running well and laying it off like that. That's pretty good. That's a penalty. Not a single Dundee player protesting. And you can see why from this. There was Whittaker, and that was a leg out by Jim Smith. So, we have the possibility of a hat-trick in five minutes in the space of five minutes, that is, by John Robertson. So, in the space of five minutes, John Robertson could get his hat-trick and put Hearts in an invincible lead.
and he does it. Oh. He took that far too casually. That really would have buried Dundee. In fact, Robertson should bury his head in the nicest possible way. Bobby Geddes, and there is Mackay! And I'll tell you what, they may have missed that, but the Hart supporters are loving this. As Hart right all over Dundee. Well, that's a gift. Foster going through here, put it down, that's a great ball. And it's just past Cahoon. That superb pass. Foster did everything right. And you could see that Cahoon took it with the side of his foot. Nothing incisive about it. Little relief from the monotony of defending. This is John Brown. Swept away by Levine again, and there is Benny trying to go in. Cahoon. Here's Benny. Uh, you bun. Bobby Glenny is out of position because he was lying down injured. Wayne Foster! And you could see it was more the angle than the pace of the shot that was going to de deceive the goalkeeper, if at all. Well, Dundee have strung two or three passes together in midfield, trying to get possession, reassert themselves. But look, guys, shaky in defence at times. Levine had come forward, and that's the worst kind of ball to give them. Should have passed long before then. Hubert, look at that aggressive run forward. Black, he's aiming for the shot. Oh, well, he just got him a tie there, but he was perfectly entitled to have a goal from there, and I agree with him. Look at the way he just teed it up for himself. Got a look at goal, and it drooped just too far over the crossbar. That's free kick. Southeast Dundee players looking very crestfallen. No. And I think Dundee realised right at the start they were going to have a very hard game in their hands. But perhaps not like this. 
No, no wonder Tyne Castle takes off. That's a score at halftime. And, you know, the question one has to ask, and one wonders, is why Hearts have only scored three. Believe you me, it could have been many more than that. If you had to single out anybody, I suppose it's John Robertson. No matter how much pressure you put on a defence, you've certainly got to finish, and his first two were clinical finishing. I mean, Robertson is always hovering, always getting in there, and when he put Hearts in that lead, Owens looked as if he would get another one, and he did. Well, will we show you his penalty miss again? Well, why not? The score's so good for him anyway. Rather soft his way, he took that penalty, but a, a save by Bobby Guinness, and then an absolutely superb goal by John Cahoon. Beautifully built up and set up in midfield by Mackay, but it required high-quality finishing. It wasn't easy, although he made it look that way, and that's a sign of a very good player indeed. Hart charging on, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if they added to that tally in the second half. Well, then these start the second half, and realistically, there's no chance of them salvaging this game. I, I suppose one of the things they ought to try and do is not to be humiliated entirely because Hart showed every sign of being capable of doing that, exactly that to them. And they're opening the second half with the same kind of intentions. Mackay! Superb running from the deep by Mackay. John Brown, now, black. Angus seemed to run away from him, and there's a good run by Robertson. He'll try to chip, and he's just a fraction too late. And this is where the need have really been caught out with players like uh, Robertson and Cahoon and Foster running onto either the long ball or being in support of a long run by the midfield players. Give support. Mackay. Well, Alec McDonald right in the middle there. I assume that Sandy Jarden is up in the stand. So you've got this dual observation of the game. Well, Brown got surprising room and so did Angus. Here's a great chance for him. And a hard defence. I think a little bit too casual there. Look at the space he gave Angus. And that is Dundee first corner. Not too far away. Well, they played all that way. Big Jim Smith was up for it in their first corner of the match. That's right. And Henry Smith is there. And away goes Brown. That aggressive running style of his. Leaves it to Cahoon. There's a stab forward. Uh, no infringement. And Black on the left there, number eight, working away. Very toughly. Break here by many. The breaks have been few and far between for Dundee. That's a substitute. Rafferty. Still gets a chance and they put it away. Finished there by Coyne. 15 minutes gone and Dundee have been served. A little lifeline. Then it was. I thought the Hearts defence had been very slack. The sub was up there, but in fact it was Coyne who put it away. 3-1. Burns at the slack. Hart's rather fortunate to get that one. Cahoon. It's Mackay. Makes space for himself. Well, he did that out of virtually nothing. Very difficult ball to get. Facing his own goal. Look at the cluster of players around him. Made a little room, and that was a very fine effort. Cahoon 
Foster, where there's a chip and a drive forward, oh yes, finished there by Kenny Black, and that should do it. Ball won the score, with about 16 minutes remaining. Drive forward here by Matai again, laying it off very neatly. Cahoon to the outside, the ever-present Wayne Foster and Black coming from midfield quickly. No chance for Geddes. Now I think they can relax. Angus brilliantly saved. Did I say he could relax? Never let a goalkeeper relax. And this is why. Good shot by Angus, but look at this superb save. That was twisting and curling and Henry Smith burning his fingertips. Smith again in superb form. Well, Sandy Jardin done now with uh, Ali McDonald. I don't think there's any anxiety there exactly. I think they just wish that Hearts would uh, give us a little bit of reproduction of the first half ball. It's Cahoon or Wayne Foster. Wayne Foster it was. There's Cahoon. Deceiving everybody, Levine, wrong side of the player. John Brown. Oh, that's another one. This time it's Keith Wright. 4-2, what a remarkable game. And Dundee left for dead so often in this game, fighting back. This time set up by Tommy Coyne. And a very good turn indeed by Keith Wright. Right on the far side, locked himself into a reasonable position. John Brown, rather lamely with that header. Brown can normally push it down well. It is Brown, rapidly brought down, free kick. Didn't like that challenge at all by Benny. So we have uh, about two and a half minutes left. Crouch like a cat. Spot on. Here's John Brown. Trying to kill it, and I think the goalkeeper got a touch again. He did. He said a very fine afternoon. Look at it. Just the fingertips again, superbly done. 